problem here. They fail. They fail. He didn't deserve that. Francis' son attends Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts in West Baltimore. His transcripts show in four years, he has passed just three classes, earning two and a half credits, which places him in ninth grade. Baltimore City High School, hundreds of students are failing. As Project Baltimore's Chris Paps explains, we found a student who's passed three classes in four years and is ranked near the top half of his class. We got to do better than this, brothers and sisters. We really do. There's no reason why this brother has only passed three classes. Three. Out of three years of high school. W what are we looking for our world to become if this is what we're allowing our children to present to the world? Three classes, people. We'll continue. We're not letting none of this get the best of us. All right? Mm -hmm. Be strong, son. We got this. He's stressed, and I am too. Like, I told him I, I probably will start crying. Like, my son is, I don't know what to do for him. This coming June is when Tiffany France thought her son would receive his diploma. And I'm just trying to fight. He like, Mom, what, what was all this for? What did I do this for? Like, don't he get a chance? Do he get a chance? But after four years of high school, Hold on, let's just take a, a, a moment. So you have this woman literally talking to the camera by herself. We have the child in the background playing PlayStation. He hasn't even taken it serious enough to pause the game to face reality. This is what our children are doing. They're choosing to go into the world of virtual instead of dealing with reality. I guarantee you in that video game, his scores are all A worthy or B worthy. Guarantee you none of those scores are failing, but he decides to completely ignore reality and allow his mother to try and sit here and put on a show and say that she had no idea that he wasn't doing well in school. Well, I guarantee you if we were to get an opportunity to view his PlayStation time, playing over the last three years i'm sure we can figure out where his time has been going but we proceed school this mom just learned her 17 year old has to start over he's been moved back to ninth grade why would he do three more years in school y'all he didn't fail the school failed him the school failed at their job they failed they failed that's did they fail I ask you all, comment below. Did they fail him or did she fail? With knowing nothing about her, anything further, who failed who? Would it be the school failing him or her in her village failing him? Answer below. The problem here, they fail. They fail. He didn't deserve that. Francis' son attends Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts in West Baltimore. His transcripts show in four years, he has passed just three classes, earning two and a half credits, which places him in ninth grade. But France... Could you imagine bringing home a report card like that when you were growing up? Could you imagine? Could you even picture it? I'm going to just go ahead and, and tell you all to take a look to the left. There's a there, there seems to be an example of how crooked her life is based on how that lamp is just leaning ever so right to her direction, showing you this woman right here has no good in her when it comes to taking care of children and their future. She can make them, but she can't raise them. No disrespect my sister but you could do a lot better than this she didn't know that until february she has three children and works three jobs she thought her oldest son was doing well because even though he failed most of his classes he was being promoted his transcripts show he failed spanish one and algebra one but was promoted to spanish two and algebra two he also failed english two but was passed on 
to English 3. I'm just assuming that if you are passing, that, that you have the proper things, you know, to go to the next grade. And, you know, the right grades, you have the right credits. As we dig deeper into her son's records, we can see in his first three years at Augusta Fells, he failed 22 classes. And I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute. This young man failed 22 classes. And we sit here and we think the problem rests anywhere but besides our home. It starts from where you come from. 22 classes is just nothing anybody should be at all responsible for failing in a lifetime, nevertheless, in three years. This young man has failed more classes than some people have taken in college. We have to do better than this. This right here, it's for the birds. We continue. Was late or absent 272 times, but- 272 absences or latenesses. So that means this young man literally was missing half of each and every school year for the last three years because it's basically 90 days that he was either absent or late. 90 days every school year. Okay, and you can't make those 90 days into three months. Those 90 days spread out because you have to include the weekends. So this young man has missed half of each year of school and now we're to believe that she had nothing to do with it. This was strictly the school and I agree the school is out of pure wrong for passing this young man along. We all know this. In those three years, only one teacher requested a parent conference, which Fran says never happened. No one from the school told this mother her son was failing and not going to class. Yeah. Francis' son, in his four years at Augusta Fells, earned a grade point average of 0.13. He only passed three classes. But his transcripts show his class rank is 62 out of 120. This means nearly half of his classmates, 58 of them, have a GPA of 0.13 or lower. He's a good kid. Is that even possible to have a 0 0.13 or lower? I, it's hard for me to fathom. Like most boys, like at least phys ed, maybe art, maybe you can squeeze a music class in there. But for you to end school with a 0 0.13 and 58 children do worse than you're doing? What type of school system is this? Uh, why is this allowed to even occur? Where are the police? Because this is literally a crime. Because we're paying our taxes, money is being funneled into the school, and they're allowing 58 children to have below a .13 GPA? This is disgusting. This would never take place in any other ethnic group's school system besides ours we watch this and we just do absolutely nothing this is sad sad state of affairs but we continue like he didn't deserve that where is the mentors where is the help for him i don't i hate that this is happening to my child in your opinion did the school system fail this child Absolutely. This city school administrator who works inside North Avenue asked not to be identified for fear of retaliation. That school community failed this too. This administrator told Fox 45 News city schools failed because it has protocols and interventions set up to help students who are falling behind or have low attendance. In Francis' son's case, they didn't happen. I get angry. I, I, there's, there's nothing but, but frustration. We see on the news, uh, the, the crime that occurs, the murders, the shootings, 
We know that there are high levels of poverty in Baltimore. Things like this are adding to that. These children are why I do this work. Dr. Sonia Santelisis was school CEO four years ago when Francis' son was a freshman, but she will not interview with Fox 45 News. Instead, the nerve, the nerve of this woman for this type of information to be released to the public and for her not to want to at least represent her opinions and her direction for our youth. This right here is appalling. It's appalling to say the least. There's no reason why this woman should even be allowed to mention instructor with her name beside it in any form of fashion, not even as an administrator. In my opinion, you shouldn't even be allowed to clean the school rooms when the children leave at the end of the day. For you to ignore 58 children with GPAs below 0.13, shame on you. Next video, we dig into you, my dear. We dig into you. We received this two-page statement, which explains what should happen when a student is chronically absent or failing. The district says students received a letter about their academic status this past summer, and records can be accessed through the campus portal. When a student is absent, an automated call is placed to the number on file. The statement also said the school conducted recent home visits and the student's parent visited the school. But France says none of that happened. What this statement does not address is why France's son was promoted despite failing classes. It doesn't discuss his class rank or the 58 other students with a GPA of 0 0.13 or lower. But it does. Like I can't even, f every time I see that number, how is this school still in existence? There is no reason why this school should be receiving any type of monetary funding from the government in any form or fashion. There's no reason for this. There's no reason why a child could get passed along, find out as a senior that he's now a freshman. You find out that 58 out of 120 students have GPAs below 0 0.13 and then you allow just a document to represent this is disgusting this is disgusting this is disgusting this is why we can't get up as minorities because we look past the truth you want the truth this is what the truth looks like in your face before somebody walks up to me and tells me how easy it is for black people to pull themselves up by the bootstraps Listen, these bootstraps don't even exist in this case. This young man is so far behind the eight ball. What job can he land and secure and take care of his family in the future? You guessed it, not many. And with that being said, you better believe he's coming after your family, my family, because when he's not able to survive the way he feels he should be surviving, we're the ones that are going to suffer as a people, as a society. We have to do better. We have to do better. But we continue. Say, North Avenue is reviewing actions that impacted student outcomes at the school prior to this year. I really, it took a lot for me to just build the courage to do this. Like, If you were to talk to this mom, what would you say to her? You know, I didn't have a hand on this student, but I work for city schools. So he is one of my kids. I would hug her and I would, I would, I would apologize profusely. And he feels embarrassed, like he feels like a failure. And I'm like, you can't feel like that. And you have to be strong. And you gotta, you gotta keep fighting. You know, life is about fighting. Things happen, but you gotta keep fighting. And and he's willing. He he's he's trying. But he where where do, who would he turn to when the people that's supposed to help him is not? Who do he turn to? France has pulled her son out of Augusta Fells. He is now enrolled in an accelerated school program at another high school in West Baltimore. She is told if he works hard, he could graduate by 2023. 2023. 
So this young brother is literally starting over all because, yes, I'll give it to her. The school system failed her, but she failed him as well. What parent is not diligent enough to know that your child has failed three years, okay? I can understand a marking period. I can see life's tragedies may throw you off course for a year, but three? It's unfair. It's unfair to him. The fact that this young man is going to forever be behind the eight ball because of his lack of preparation, his lack of diligence, his lack of discipline. You can see it written all over him. He never even paused the video game one time to represent himself. He never once cared. He lives in another reality. And by the time he wakes up to this one, it may be too late. But it doesn't have to be late for all of us. We can start waking up, y'all. We really can start waking up. The time for us to start making a change is now. We have the opportunity to change the course and direction of everyone's life just by caring a little bit. Just a little caring. That's all. And I ain't talking about caring the caring. I'm talking about caring for these children, actually caring where we go next as a people. This society will continue to be tainted if we do not take care of our young and our old. We have to do better. It's sad that I got to bring this to my people. But if I don't, they will. Just think, they spent six minutes in change delivering this message to our people. How many of us actually spent any time to review it for ourselves? And do they ever spend this much time when they're talking about anything else? I rarely see a news clip or article go beyond two minute reads or three minute views. Why this one happened to get six minutes? Not certain, but I do know that with this information, we're not supposed to ignore people. We have to do better for our children. We have to. For those that hear my voice and truly care, click the subscribe button. Go ahead, click click it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start exposing the things that matter to us, the things that could truly change our people. This is for everyone. We the people. Anybody coming from poverty and trying to get a, a foot up, this is what we have to tackle. It starts with our education. It starts with what our children eat. It starts with how much our children sleep. It starts with what our children watch. It starts with what our children believe. And if we're not going to do anything about shaping it, we're allowing them to shape it for us. And I don't know about you, but I'm scared to see what a child that's only raised by a video game will produce in society in 10 years. I'm sorry. I just, I'm not ready. To, I'm not ready for it. I don't think we all are. But with that being said, I need you to go ahead and subscribe. I need you to follow through. I need you to look to the person next to you and see where they need help. Don't ignore your children. It's time, y'all. It's time to step up and do better. I love you and I love my people and I thank you for watching and spending a little time with me. Don't worry, I'll be back. Peace.